Hi everyone and welcome to your daily devotional for Friday, July 24th, 2020. It is good to be with you. As we prepare to be in a time of meditation and prayer today, I invite you to pay attention to what are the distractions around you? What are the noises, the sounds, the sights, the smells? As best you can, set those aside. And let us prepare to be filled with God's Spirit. We begin today by turning to Psalm 105, and we'll be reading verses 1 through 11 and 45b, and this reading and all the readings today come from the Common English Bible. Listen now for God's word to us. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make his deeds known to all people. Sing to God. Sing praises to the Lord. Dwell on all his wondrous works. Give praise to God's holy name. Let the hearts rejoice of all those seeking the Lord. Pursue the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Remember the wondrous works he has done, all his marvelous works and the justice he declared. You who are the offspring of Abraham, his servant, and the children of Jacob, his chosen ones. The Lord, he is our God. His justice is everywhere throughout the whole world. God remembers his covenant forever. The word he commanded to a thousand generations, which he made with Abraham, the solemn pledge he swore to Isaac. God set it up as a binding law for Jacob, as an eternal covenant for Israel, promising, I hereby give you the land of Canaan as your allotted inheritance. Let us pray. God of waiting, I am thankful that wherever we may find ourselves, you are already there. Give me courage to wait on you with my entire being and trust that whatever else the dawning light may bring, it will always bring a word of hope from you. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from 1 Kings chapter 1, verses 38 through 48. Listen for God's word. Zadok the priest, the prophet Nathan, Jehoiada's son Beniah, and the Cherethites and the Pelethites went down and put Solomon on King David's mule. They led him to Gihon. Zadok the priest took the horn of oil from the tent and anointed Solomon. They blew the ram's horn and all the people said, Long live King Solomon. All the people followed him playing flutes and celebrating. The ground shook at their noise. Adonijah and all his invited guests heard this when they had finished eating. When Joab heard the sound of the ram's horn, he said, What's that noise coming from the city? While he was still speaking, Jonathan, Abiathar the priest's son, arrived. Adonijah said, Come on in. You are an honest man and will bring a good report. Jonathan replied to Adonijah, No, our master King David has made Solomon king. To support him, the king sent along Zadok the priest, the prophet Nathan, Benaiah, Jehoiada's son, and the Cherethites and the Pelethites. They've put Solomon on the royal mule, Zadok the priest and the prophet Nathan have anointed him king at Gihon. They went up from there celebrating so that the city was thrown into a commotion. That is the sound you heard. There's more. Solomon has taken over the throne of the kingdom. The royal attendants blessed our master King David. May your God make Solomon's name better than your name. May God elevate his throne above your throne. The king then worshipped on his bed and said, Bless Israel's God, the Lord, who today has set my son on the throne. 
and has allowed my eyes to see it. It seems that Solomon was made king privately, and many people were surprised with this move. Why do you think David went about it this way? Our New Testament reading today comes from the book of Acts, chapter 7, verses 44 through 53. Listen again for God's word. The tent of testimony was with our ancestors in the wilderness. Moses built it just as he had been instructed by the one who spoke to him and according to the pattern he had seen. In time, when they had received the tent, our ancestors carried it with them when, under Joshua's leadership, they took possession of the land from the nations whom God expelled. This tent remained in the land until the time of David. God approved of David, who asked that he might provide a dwelling place for the God of Jacob. But it was Solomon who actually built a house for God. However, the Most High doesn't live in houses built by human hands. As the prophet says, heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house will you build for me, says the Lord, or where is my resting place? Didn't I make all these things with my own hand? You stubborn people. In your thoughts and hearing, you are like those who have had no part in God's covenant. You continuously set yourself against the Holy Spirit, just like your ancestors did. Was there a single prophet your ancestors didn't harass? They even killed those who predicted the coming of the righteous one, and you've betrayed and murdered him. You received the law given by angels, but you haven't kept it. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. From the beginning, people have tried to contain God. In what ways do you see this being done today? Let us pray. God who loves me beyond all understanding, you formed me in your image and declared me beloved. May I live as if I know it. Give me the courage to stand up so that others may know it too. I pray this in the name of Jesus, the one who stands up for all of us. Amen. Friends, by the fullness of God, may you receive grace upon grace this day and in the days to come. Go in peace. Be well. I'll see you tomorrow.